It was raining on the night of Halloween on the Campton Southwestern Railroad. Sitting quietly with this ex Clinchfield 311, an old 482 mountain type local point. 311 is to take a load of logs from Campton to Black Wolf Log then deliver another train back down on the return journey. Earlier that morning, weather reports had been warning of a storm that was to roll in during the evening. It was raining lightly, but this was only a sign of the bad weather approaching. They were making good progress, going at 15 miles an hour, the correct speed advised to travel through the Miller River Canyon at the time, followed by the faint sounds of rumbling thunder and snow. They arrived at Black Wolf Logging Camp right on time, and by then, night had fallen over the mountain. 311 was serviced and checked over by her crew, and they were ready to leave, but there was a short delay due to the signal that gave them the all-clear on the return journey back to Campton malfunction. It was repaired, but this only made 311 late for her return journey. Due to the rain, a series of major flash floods were reported all across the line, Flash floods loosen large rocks and trees from the banks, causing them to be pulled downstream, plunging into the thrashing rapids below. No word of 311 or its crew and captain was heard the next day. As the minutes turned to hours, Great concern grew, and search teams were dispatched for a rescue operation. When they came across the Miller River Bridge, they discovered that it had collapsed. But there was no indication that a train may have gone over it. Other than the bridge itself, whatever happened to th the remains of 311 and its crew had vanished into thin air. A few years later, a newer and stronger bridge was completed, but strange events began to occur. The night, an engine was pulling a freight train up the same line where 311 had disappeared. The driver claimed to have seen a headlight, hearing the bell ring, and a whistle sounded out. Then they all vanished together without a trace. Similar events throughout the decades soon followed. People had reported seeing an engine trying to cross the bridge, but it never does. According to the legend, if you walk along the mountain line of the Highland Valley Logging and Mining Company Railroad in the fall, you just might hear the cry of a whistle in the wind. If you're brave enough to walk the line during a thunderstorm on Halloween, you just might get a glance of a 482 with a blood red lamp as it flares past you, its whistle screaming into the distance, only to vanish in the night.